So what type of developer is going to be replaced by AI first? So the short answer, it's going to be the algorithm writers. Now, fortunately, in software development, algorithm writers represent a tiny fraction of the population of developers out there. Most developers never write algorithms. So it's kind of silly as a side note. It's kind of silly that they test developers uh, with algorithms if they're going to become full stack developers or something like that. Algorithms have nothing to do with full stack development, with most development. It's a very specialized type of thing that you do if you're maybe building a physics engine for a gaming company or you're doing certain types of AI development or big data. In that situation, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense that Facebook and Google would want to see if you got algorithmic skills if you're going to be working on that aspect of the business. But that's just a small part. Anyway, that being said, why do I say that the AI, excuse me, the algorithm writers are the first to be replaced by AIs like ChatGPT and I'm sure others out there that will come out. The reason being is because it's very finite, it's very fine-grained. It's easier to take an AI and say, optimize this code here given this particular use case because it's a very fine-grained, a very... Um, limited thing that you have to do. I have a couple of friends who are in the AI business and from what I understand, AI, from what I've seen thus far, AI is highly specialized. You can find a piece of AI that just is good at upscaling images or upscaling uh, video or you can find another AI that's very good at creating a very particular type of narrative. The general purpose AI, the closest we've seen is chat, chat GPT, but even that, it's, uh, it's a bit of smoke and mirrors in that. It's a great thing, by the way. I think it's cool. It shows the next evolution. But it's, uh, it's not a panacea. Uh, it's limited to what it can find on the internet and so on. And a lot of times it gets the code wrong from what people are saying. A lot of times it's not quite there. It's a great assistive tool today. So before any of you start panicking, as a general rule, I believe that AI will only be a powerful assisting tool or assistant to you, but it will not replace most developers for many, many, many years to come. Why? Because development is complex in the real world for, for the most part. Unless you're doing something very tiny, like you're just writing an algorithm, that is where a chat GPT, I can see that replacing that much more quickly than it would be able to replace, let's say, a full stack developer. Why is that the case? Because full stack developers have to consider and deal with many different and disparate things to be able to pull off uh, the application. So for example, let's say you just want to put up a website that has branding, it has a newsletter system, it has an e-commerce integration, and you may want to integrate with PayPal, Stripe, and maybe a third party credit card processor. This is a lot of different considerations that have to be um, looked at and evaluated. Why? Because the business will have different needs. Your, that business may say, I don't want to use PayPal or Stripe. So sometimes you might use PayPal, sometimes you might use Stripe, sometimes you might use a, some third-party processor like Monera's or something. And you have to integrate your app with that. There's a decision to be made there. And then you're going to go, okay, how is the, how we're going to build a site now, how do we want to handle the visual component of the site, the UI UX, which is the most important thing these days? Here's another, here's another little tip from somebody who's been coding since 1994. Today, performance, how fast your, your, your code runs and how performant or well-engineered the, the back end is, is far less important today than it was just 10 years ago. What's much more important today is the whole thing, the whole pie, if you will, how the various components are put together, the UI, UX, how easy it is to use. That's far more important. That's far more important than optimized code. When people talk about minifying code and trying to squeeze out a little bit more uh, performance out of the code base, for 99.99% of the application, it's not relevant today. Why? It's because computers are incredibly powerful today. CPUs today can 
process code like never before. Um, bandwidth is massive today. It's like I see people talking about, oh, you don't want to, you want to optimize your, your front end code for web development, for example, because, you know, save on bandwidth. And I say, what are you, crazy? We live in a time of high uh, 4K video streaming. You care about that? It's what a waste of time. And number three, the infrastructure in terms of code that we do use, the libraries and the frameworks, et cetera, they're far more optimized today than they were just 10 years ago. So performance is not a huge issue in coding today. It's more about how you put it all together, how functional it is, um, how easy it is to use, UI, UX, etc. All these things and all these considerations I bring up because these are all these different disparate decisions that have to be made that AI won't be able to make for, I would at least say, 15 years. I would be flabbergasted if it could because it's always human considerations, business considerations, technology considerations. This is a huge part of the job when you're developing an app. Writing the code is almost the icing on the cake. That's where the AI can help out. Write out a bunch of boilerplate code. You know, that's cool. I encourage that. I encourage that. I think that the less code that you can write, the better off you are as a developer. One of my rules, I tell people, don't look for code to write. Trust me, there'll be plenty of code to write. Don't look for code to write. There'll be plenty of code to write. So if you can use uh, an AI to write out a bunch of code for you, to set up the template and test it and so on, that's fantastic. Don't waste your time. You know, so, but don't worry about AI as well. AI, again, is going to be a powerful assistive tool but it's not going to be a replacement tool. All that AI is going to do, like every past technology advancement, is just going to shift what we do as web well, as developers and web professionals and developers. It's just going to shift. So I'll give you an example. Back in 94, the skills that we had and how we built web apps and websites, it is totally different. I'd say, I don't know, 90% different from what we do today. No question about it. No question about it. Things that we'd have to build from scratch back in those days, now we don't have to anymore. It's done. You just use it. Boom. That's it. Did it kill all these developer jobs? No. In fact, the demand for developers continues to increase. It's just the stats show that. It's not just my opinion. Look at stats. It's just the advancement in technologies shift what it is that we do. And let me tell you, from somebody who's been coding from those old days where we used to have to do all this stuff uh, from the ground up ourselves, I'm happy we don't have to do that anymore. I'm happy. I don't want to have to start creating uh, date pickers and calendars from scratch with JavaScript and HTML and CSS. I don't want to have to be building my own authentication system over and over again. I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to create my own ORM. I'm glad that we have frameworks and libraries that take care of these things. Fantastic. I, I, so AI, whether it be chat GPT or some future iteration of that technology or some other technology or several out there, they are going to assist you. That all said, the algorithm writers, because it's very focused, it's very limited, optimize this algorithm you know, that we're, we've developed in this function or this class. Optimize that so Mac for maximum proficiency. That is where I think an AI could help out a lot. And uh, so if you're counting on being one of those detailed, I'm going to make algorithms so efficient, that's the first thing I think is going to go in terms of AI. Boilerplate code generation, uh, minutiae work like that, like optimizing algorithms, algorithms and stuff. That will be replaced by AI far before uh, the general programming, as just described, is going to be replaced. There's no question about it if you, if you look at AI. AI tends to be very good at very limited, specialized things. Do I know when AI will replace all developers in the end? I don't have a date, but what I do know is that because of how complex development is, for some of the reasons I just described in this video, Long before developers are replaced by AI, bookkeepers will be replaced by AI, uh, automated taxi cabs will be 
replaced by AI, accountants will be replaced by AI, and countless other white collar jobs will be replaced by AI long before programmers are replaced. Simply, I'm looking at this from a point of view of complexity in terms of execution of the task. One of the reasons I'm not so concerned about this is because look at self-driving cars. We had the first indications of these things years ago, but they still cannot, with full confidence, drive around city driving without human intervention. They can take care of a lot, but they still have trouble where they occasionally run over somebody or smash into a tree or turn into a, into a rail or something, you know? And let me tell you, driving a car is far less complex than building an app. My name is Steph. I've been writing code since 94 and I've been running tech businesses eh, since about 96, 97. Anyhow, if you want to learn how to code, you want to learn how to get a job in software development, you want to learn how to build your software team, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, check out unclesteph.com, links below. It's my mentoring program bootcamp, very unique, a totally different way of delivery where I'm basically transferring my decades of experience as a developer to you guys so that you don't have to spend 20, 30 years learning this stuff. You can get it from me in a short period of time. I'll talk soon.